Americans can't all lead a swashbuckling life of treasure hunting, but they can do the next best thing and visit a dollar store. In good times and in bad, everyone loves a good deal. And in a world of swirling trade war worries, can investors continue to expect a good deal from the stock of Dollar Tree? I keep telling you, there are two kinds of retailers that are working in this environment. There's the big dogs that have the, they got the strength to strong arm their suppliers and crush their competitors because they got scale. And then there's the off-price plays that offer incredible values that you can't really find anywhere else. Consider the spectacular recent move in Dollar Tree, the dollar store chain that's now turning itself around by pushing up the lackluster locations they acquired from Family Dollar a few years ago. Last November, CEO Gary Philbin came here and he told us that this term was coming. And if you listen, and boy, you've got some phenomenal gains. Stocks tackled on nearly 20 bucks just in the last month or so. Could it have more room to run? Earlier today, we got a chance to check out this Dollar Tree turnaround in person. We joined Gary Philbin at one of his renovated family dollar locations in Asbury Park, New Jersey, which happened to be the one that's right near my place. Take a look. Gary, we are in a... For me, new store, I have told you often I didn't like the old store. How did you do it? Because this place is gorgeous versus the previous model. Thank you, Jim, and welcome to the Asbury Park Family Dollar. Thank and what you see here is really the culmination of everything we've been talking about on H2. So exciting wow items, more of what our customers want on frozen food, the injection of over twenty dollar wow sections within the store. We're very excited. Thank you. Now, a lot of the analysts have been saying, "When is the turn going to occur in the wholesome?" You got seven thousand this, seven thousand uh, of yeah. Dollar Tree. Yeah. Look, maybe stop me because when you were at eighty five, you were saying the turn is happening, Jim. It is obviously happening. Uh, where are we in terms of the progression? Well, this was an important quarter for us. So keep in mind when I saw you back in November, we've gone from a one four comp at Family Dollar to one nine to two four, and we've accomplished a thousand of these H two renovations. We are so excited. We're putting another one hundred fifty to get those done before September finishes. So that'll give us over a thousand for this year. So we need to do more H2s, but the whole fleet of stores did better in this last quarter. We sold more of what we are creating in our impact sections across our stores. Right. So it was a good quarter for all those reasons. All right, so what is the secret sauce behind an H2? And describe what an H2 is for the people who have not followed you all. Well, I would invite everybody in, but an H2 for us starts with the impulse right at the front end of the store you're going to see incredible one, three, or five dollar items, expanded party. You're going to see what I think is just a wow discretionary on our clothing set. You're going to be surprised at the amount of dollar product through the store, and you're going to see impulse items around the store. You're coming into the store and you, you don't have a list, we're going to have something to put in your basket. Now, this store has a combination of things that I'd be paying less for that are store brand, national brand, but also items. I mean, are you really making any money with tariffs and all this on some of these dollar items? Well, the dollar items are a big injection from Dollar Tree. Okay. So with a high operating income there, yes, I can tell you we do make a, a nice profit on the dollar items. But because we work very hard, not just all the year, but especially now with tariffs, we're still working on those same types of items. All right, now the analysts are all suspicious about how you can possibly mitigate when the tariffs pump up. I mean, we all make it sound like tariff one, tariff two, number, but who knows? I mean, a tweet is tariff five. I mean, is it not just a, a precarious time to be the CEO of Dollar Tree? Well, let's not suggest tariff five. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I would say this, I give great credit to both merchant teams. Right. The things that we do, we even listed our vendors. How do we redesign? How do we get cost down of the product? How do we pack it so that we land it cheaper? Mm -hmm. The last thing we want to do is take any value out of the package at all. So our merchants go to Asia and not just China. Right. And we're moving product out of China to the right places. And I think over time what our folks have done is just uh, we make it look easy. Right. But it is a lot of discipline with what we've done over the years with this working well, knowledge. You've been tough. You talk about canceled orders, modified specification, evolved product mix, diversified vendors. Uh, vendors. I mean, you obviously play hardball to get low prices. Well, we play hardball, but I would say we've always been fair. We've okay. worked very hard with our vendors. We serve a unique customer. Our vendors are a part of that. Uh, I think we're very proud with the relationships we've had long term with our vendors. Mm -hmm. 
but they get it too. Businesses uh, at a certain moment in time can be at risk if we don't provide value to our customers. Uh, tell me how you work, Gary. I've always told you from the day we met, but I've also been pretty vocal about it. I got a fabulous Dollar Tree. Just got $16 worth of stuff I could not believe. Seemed like around 40 okay? And I kept saying, well, when is the family dollar going to become a Dollar Tree? But that's not what you've been doing. Matter of fact, you're even building new family dollars. Isn't it easier just to make them all Dollar Tree? Well, it's not easier. We bought Family Dollar with a very specific intent. Two brands, and as we know, okay. five blocks from here, we have a wonderful Dollar Tree. Both brands are doing well. The Family Dollar now is doing great with this H2. We serve more customers. We bring more people to a Dollar Tree Family Dollar combination. That's the power. Okay, so uh, I'm in a snack zone here right now. Uh, is that a great area? Where are the best, where are the real areas that you're killing it? Well, it depends on the customer. I was, our customers come in often for the basics. I think what surprises them, Jim, is everything we saw in aisle one, the surprising yeah. party section now. Halloween is out. We shared some of the Christmas wow product that's going to come in to most stores in another month. That's the stuff that our customers maybe don't expect when they come into a family dollar. That's the part we see them buying more of. I have not seen some of these brands, like Clorox. Mm -hmm. I always thought Clorox would never want to be in a family dollar. What's changed? Oh, listen, we're a one, they're a wonderful vendor for us at Family Dollar. We have great share with them. It, that's a pretty good example of a, a basic item that cuts across demographics. But Family Dollar customer, that's a great brand within our four walls. Now, when they see side by side, or, or right here in Snacks, I mean, who cares, now? do I really want to pay three bucks for Lay's? And I happen to like Lay's very much. But salty snacks are salty snacks. Yeah. I mean, your compare is starting to win, isn't it? Well, we have compare and save, one of our smart ways save. to save. So when you think about what our private brands accomplish for our customer on a tight budget, and you can save from 20 to 40 percent, same size, right. great tasting product, or in our discretionary product, we have onesies. A baby lineup for our customers that are looking for infant toddler wear, mm -hmm. that's where we can really make a difference for our customer. Now, you've often talked about how a lot of people don't realize that not everyone in this country makes a lot of money. You have your, I think, uh, the pulse on the $40,000 consumer better than anyone in the world. How is she doing? You know, I think our customer with unemployment has had a better uh, opportunity to have a steady job. I find our customers are often one paycheck away from not doing right. so well. Thank and you for I think, well, that. I think what we offer them is just a way of saving money, which is so important to them. And our customers are very savvy. They know right. the retails of our stores and anywhere else in the neighborhood that they happen to shop. It's not just them, right? The millennials price check now. Well, and they have a phone. And if you have a phone, you can get a Family Dollar smart app, and it'll tell you the best deals this week on right on your phone. So right. we accomplished both. One last thing. From the consumer perspective, all right, I love your balloons, okay? You. It is not too. your fault that you don't have all the balloons I want, right? I apologize to all of our customers. Obviously, they love our party sections. The balloons really drive it. We're going to be tied up with a shortage here. In, Probably over the next 9 to 12 months. We but, think we see a horizon next year. Yeah, people better. think that helium grows on skies. It's yeah. not true. It comes out of the ground. <laughs> and so it's, uh, it's what we have is what we got to deal with. But uh, it, the birthday parties, you can still celebrate at a Dollar Tree or Family Dollar if you come in. Plenty of other items to buy if we happen to be out of helium. You, you represent a great hope for the people who want to do better, maybe not have a chance, but will, you've made it so that it's affordable to be an American. I want to thank you, Gary thank Philbin. You. Terrific, you, sir. Appreciate That's it. Gary Philbin, he's Dollar Tree president and CEO, and we are at a beautiful family dollar that, frankly, I've avoided for years, but won't anymore. Come on back. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.